everybody, Tony Phelan here with Competition Next, and today we're going to be unboxing Team Associated's CR12 Trail Series Toyota FJ45 112 scale four wheel drive pickup truck. So the Toyota FJ body is the second body in the CR12 Trail Series, the first being the Ford F150, and the last just recently being a Tioga Trail Truck. Uh, this truck is 112 scale, so it's a little bit smaller than everybody else, but it is four wheel drive and it does come with a lot of cool features that you kind of expect in a off-road vehicle. So uh, let's just go to the side of the box here. Before we dig inside, let's just look over the box. Uh, it does say metal front and rear um, axle shafts, 12 millimeter hex adapters, which is good because there's a lot of aftermarket wheels use 12 millimeter hex adapters. That means wheel and tire combinations will fit on this. Uh, metal Ford link front and rear suspension, fully adjustable threaded fluid filled shocks, chassis mounted servo, uh, plastic low friction slider type drive shafts, uh, full ball bearings, 2.4 millimeter XP transmitter receiver. The XP line is their proprietary transmitter receiver line, so it comes with that. Uh, fully water resistant, Reedy speed control, Reedy brushed 380 motor, 850 milliamp light on. Um, Two cell battery, so it comes with a battery pack and a charger, so that's all stuff's already included. Black anodized aluminum battery tray, spring loaded heavy duty servo saver, official 1977 Toyota FJ body. Body to me looks great. Uh, front and rear satin bumpers and a black scale 1.55 wheels with soft compound off road tires. Now, 1.55 is the actual size of the wheel, so a lot of companies offer additional 1.55 size wheels and tire combos. So that allows you to kind of spice this up however you want with different wheel and tire combos. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's get inside the box. It does also say this is ready to run, which we discussed with all of the electronics, but it also says includes LEDs. So there's a two piece LED lights. I'm gonna guess for the, looks like the headlights light up. So that's a neat addition for something of this size as well. All right, so the first thing we have in the box is the instruction manual. It's a nice poly bag instruction manual. Looks like there's a couple extra parts in there. The battery straps. Uh, looks like the battery charger is well in there. Um, and then, of course, instructions on how to use the radio system. So that's good. Uh, okay, we're going to have to cut some stuff open here. Let's cut this box open first. They always um, zip tie the, bo the boxes in in the cars in, so that way nothing moves around in shipping. But when it comes to the videos, it kind of makes it a little, I forget that they do that, so. All right, so here is the XP radio. Comes with your four AA batteries. I'm gonna cut this open before I take 20 minutes on camera trying to get it out of the bag. And there's your 2.4 gigahertz XP120 radio system. Now it's got a bunch of knobs on the top here. Uh, looks like there is servo reversing, uh, throttle and steering trims, as well as dual rate. So all these right here can adjust some of the features on the car as it moves. Uh, if it's not tracking straight, you can straighten it out and you can turn how much the wheels turn dual rate. You can adjust how much the wheels turn for a tighter turning radius. Uh, feels nice, you know, it's got a, one thing, one pet peeve of mine is a small handle a small handle for the re receiver. I kind of got bigger hands, so when they're small, it feels real toyish. This actually feels pretty good. It's got a little nubby here that your finger sits into. So that's a nice radio system. All right, now, oh, look at that. Usually this is connected to the box, but not this one. All right, so here is your, let me get some scissors, one second. And a back. All right, we're gonna cut this thing off of the poly, off the box here. There's two of them. All right, easy enough. Okay, and there is your FJ45. I actually like this color more than the blue, so that's better that I got this color. Uh, the body looks really good. The proportions look good. The wheels and tires are, are sharp looking. The bumper bumpers are plastic, but they're satin colored, so they kind of add a nice, um, kind of more high-end feature than a black. And then, of course, your body mounts and all that kind of stuff. So let's take the body off here. Let's give this a quick look. Take the body off. Now the first thing you're going to notice is the lead here that hooks to the batteries. There's no connector here. So you're going to have to be careful when you pull the body off, you don't pull these out of the grill. But you can see there's a molded grill piece back here to hold the lights in. The body is two pieces and you can see the connectors here to hold it all together. I'm going to turn this around so we get the body the other side. So quick look in there, you'll see the receiver, speed control, 
all the wires hooked up, the 380 motor, the tiny battery pack. This uses a very small battery pack, but has a tray long enough to hold full-size battery packs. So as you can see, the chassis is a, a dual C-channel ladder chassis setup. Everything attaches to the chassis with plastic cross braces. You can see the shocks here. They're threaded shocks, very nice shock. It's a whole plastic shock, but it's a threaded shock, so it makes it easy to adjust ride height, adjustable body mounts, ser chassis mounted servo. There's extra holes in the bumper to move it in and out. All the wires nicely tied along the side here. It's got some extra holes along the side here. I actually asked what those were for, and the AE guy said you can actually put rock lights down inside those. It's kind of hard to see. It's really black in here, but you can see the plastic links here, the CVAs. It's got plastic sliders, all metal links, rock sliders here. It is a four link front, four link rear suspension system. The rear the same as the front, nice articulation. I do like the fact how small the transmission is. You could probably put a nice interior in here if you were to move the electronics to the back. There's not much here sticking up. Move the battery all the way to the front. The adjustable body mounts give you lots of options for different bodies. The speed control is a Reedy SC400. As you can see different switches here that allow you to change the mode and the type of battery you use in the truck. The wheel and tire combo is nice. I like the cap that covers up the wheel nut, nice addition. One thing to note, there's no inserts in the tire. And when you do the lift test, there appears to be quite a bit of articulation in this vehicle. That's pretty impressive for a small 12 scale vehicle. In addition to the FJ45, Team Associate also sent over a lot of their 3D printed parts from their Shapeways account. Uh, we've got the little rear mounted rack back here. That's in the back. Another little roof rack here. Move this back over here. Uh, looks like a servo mount for repositioning the servo. Looks like a chassis mounted servo mount. I'm not quite sure where that does. It might reposition the, the, the servo for better weight distribution. A battery tray probably does the same things. Uh, moves the battery around for better weight distribution. I have a, a toolbox, a pair of jerry cans, gas cans, a water can, a cooler for your drinks. Looks like I have a spare tire mount here. Uh, this pop, pop, this little part pops off and you mount your tire and this screws down on top of there to uh, keep the tires in place. And then a couple other little mounts that are used to hold stuff like the sand ramps. I got a pair of sand ramps as well. So those are cool features I'll be adding to this truck as well. We're going to do a little drive without those just to get an idea of how it works without all the parts. And then we'll come back and do a second video on putting all this stuff on your car and then kind of testing out what stuff like the battery tray and this do. So I'm super excited to get the FJ45 out on the rocks. I know Team Associated kind of got a little bit of grief for making a 112 scale vehicle instead of a 110 scale, but in reality, 10 scale or scale should only really matter if you're racing. You race 110 scale cars together with 110 scale cars, 18 scale with 18 scale. When you're crawling, scale really shouldn't matter because you're just tackling terrain out there that you think you can you can make. This could probably do some lines that 110 scale vehicles could, but it's going to be a different driving style. It's going to be a different approach to the lines, and I'm personally looking forward to it. I've never driven anything this small before, so I'm pretty excited to really see what I can do with this vehicle. So if you have any questions on the FJ45, you can put them down below in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notifier so you can be notified of future videos on the FJ45. And that wraps up that unboxing. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you soon.